So I'm going to be revealing the pitfalls you should avoid when you're running your email marketing campaign. That's the pitfalls you should avoid when running your email marketing campaign. You see, if you've not been using email marketing to sell your products online, then you're leaving lots of money on the table. You're losing out big time. Okay? Combining an effective email marketing campaign and a benefit field website is what the top marketers are using to make big money online. You shouldn't be left out. You should be running your own email marketing campaign. But when you're running your email marketing campaign, you should be aware of some things. There are some things you should not do. There are some things you should avoid. And those are the things I'm going to be revealing to you right here, right now. Here are the things you shouldn't do. Number one, never purchase someone else's opt-in list. Never purchase someone else's opt-in list. The clients who opted or choose to receive email messages in that certain list wants to receive email information from the person and not from you. Always remember that. Okay, so it's a cold list and you could be accused of spam. You should be very, very careful about that. Another thing you should never do is never purchase or use those type of programs we see everywhere on the internet. Programs like millions of email addresses plus a bulk emailer program. Get millions of email addresses and send them an email right away. Please avoid them like a plague. Avoid them. You're going to be accused of spam. Please avoid them like a plague. Another thing you shouldn't do is to never sell your own email list to somebody else. Okay? Client wants to receive email from you because in the first place, that was, what, that was what you promised. That was what you told them, that you're going to be sending emails to them. So if you sell it to another person, that means you've betrayed the trust they have in you. They trusted you. That's why they gave you their names and email addresses. So if you sell it to another person, you've betrayed the trust they had in you. Another thing you should do is to consider opt-in, double opt-in email procedure when gathering your own list of emails from your website. You know, the difference between opt single opt-in and double opt-in is that when someone, with single opt-in, when someone puts down a name and email address on your website, you begin to send messages to that person right away. But a double opt-in means that the person will receive an initial message where he will have to confirm that it was actually the person that requested for the information. So he has to click a link in the email that you send that he actually requested for it, then you can begin to send him follow-up messages. Okay, so consider double opt-in email procedure when gathering your very own list of emails from your website. Another thing you should avoid is delaying removal request from your list. There are times people won't look through to the bottom of your email where where all autoresponders provide the unsubscribe link where people can just unsubscribe by clicking the link. Some people don't read to the bottom of the email so they send you an email that they don't want to receive anything from you again. Without delay Fulfill and make such request. Okay? Fulfill such request every time, as early as possible. You see, when you begin to do those things, like considering double opt-in, removing people from your list, and all that, there's this tendency to want to feel demoralized that your list is not growing quickly as you would have wanted. But you know what? Having a large email list is not really the secret to success online, but having a responsive opt-in email list 
What are you doing with a list of 100,000 when none of them is going to buy from you? There are people that make a living online with just 1,000 people in their opt-in list. So don't be tempted because the size of your list is not that big. And so you therefore want to do the opposite of the things I've talked to you here today. Okay? Make sure your list is quickly clean. Make sure your list remains hyper-responsive. And that way you will continue to make money regularly over time from them over and over again. And I'm sure that will put a smile on your face. Thank you.